Hello! You have joined the Script Mistress for scene 14, reaching your 2023 screenwriting goals. Now, I am your host, Amber Bosworth, and I am very excited to bring you this episode. And who says? I mean, it's Friday, the last Friday in December of 2022. And I'm really excited to spend this time with you to kind of give you some tips on how to approach screenwriting, your screenwriting goals in the new year of 2023. So I know a lot of our resolutions kind of fall at the wayside, but maybe we can do a little bit of something that can keep us on track for at least a month or two, maybe three months. (laughs) We'll see. Now, if you want to stay up to date on podcasts, events, and my challenges, get on my mailing list at www.thescriptmistress.com. I also have this whole episode on video at www.thescriptmistress.com forward slash scene 14, 14, for your enjoyment, along with a brand new, completely free download that I'll discuss at the end of the episode. Something really free just for you and uh, PDF form, very fun. I also want to remind you, if you haven't guessed already, that this is not edited. (laughs) I just get on here and spill on the weekly topic. Collecting this from the plethora of information gives me great motivation to write. It's about what works for you as a writer to keep the keys clacking or the pen scratching. Now, we just wrapped up the December Ink to Screen Screenwriting Challenge. If you are just finding my podcast, I run a monthly short screenwriting challenge where writers that sign up get five days to write a brand new five-page screenplay based on a prompt sent out the first day of the challenge. The winner gets $150, and every writer that submits a completed um, script gets detailed feedback. Now, this is all included at just $15 entry fee for every month. You can check it all out at www.thescriptmistress.com forward slash ink to screen. The January challenge will run from January 18th to the 22nd, and registration is now open. If one of your goals is maybe to write a new screenplay every month, this would be an amazing event to kind of get you to do that, especially if you like to have deadlines. Um, If you want some refreshing, I don't give you genres or assign that. I just give you the prompt and you make up whatever you can from that prompt as long as it's in your script. And I do have a special that if you buy the whole year, you get two months free. You can buy it right off that www.thescriptmistress.com forward slash ink to screen and save two months, save you $30 there. So go check it out if you want, really want to write a script every month. Now, going into the new year with a resolution seems great until the following December when you watch your dreams die during the final countdown. Embracing failure like an old friend and crying into a vodka martini. (laughs) Now let's let's do it differently this year. Infuse this year with strategy and intention. Your screenwriting goals deserve the best you can give them. Start by reflecting what what you've done this this year, what you can do, and then take action. I have some great tips to really help you solidify your goals for next year and ways to make sure you see them through. One really big tip is to try to treat yourself like a business. As writers, it's easy to let ego get in the way. But how cruel is it to let your self-esteem fuel the fire? Extremely. It means that the moment you get crummy notes, hit a roadblock in your screenplay, or feel unmotivated, there's that voice in the back of your head telling you to quit. So maybe you get frustrated and stop until you get a spark to start again. Imagine running a business this way, working only when you feel like it, waiting for creative genius to take hold and make you money, twiddling your thumbs while days, um, well, your business would fail. When you set aside time to write, creating a writing schedule or implement a new routine, take it seriously. I know you can. And you know what? You want to kick fear or doubt to the curb and just do. You've probably heard it a million times. Action cures fear. I really like that. 
And I'm sure if you've been listening, you've heard a couple of my interviews from um, some of the winners from my Ink to Screen challenges, and a lot of them kind of maybe not approach it such in, an, in, in that way, but they do have a very, very strict routine that they stick to, and they do treat themselves a little bit differently than just waiting for inspiration to strike. Number tip, another tip, take yourself seriously. The world has deadlines. Sure, you're writing on spec now, so yes, for free, but the goal is to be a working paid writer, right? It's easier to procrastinate when you create your own deadlines. Right now, you are your own agent. Expect that next draft within the next six months and then hustle. Create some good, healthy writing habits. Everyone carves their path differently and has a separate journey, but there are industry standards which are important to know. Learn the average time it takes to write a script for TV or features, depending on your interest. Know the rules before you break them, especially since it's easy for new writers to ignore uh, to their detriment. What ends up happening is that they lose momentum and interest not only from the industry, but from their own representation after failing to deliver more work. So much can be up in the air that it's important for you to nail your end of the bargain nail your end of the bargain, write and educate yourself every day. So if you really look into the standards, if you're writing a TV show, how long it would take you or how long it takes you, like your writing style, very different from my own or from other of the, um, your friend who also writes. So that's really important. If deadlines really help you, again, joining my Ink to Screen Challenge, you could write something new every month because you have five days to write this script can really get your the, the motivation to get it going and have something produced. And then you can puff up, beef up, I guess, beef up uh, that writing portfolio, add it right into there. All right, <clears throat> next tip, write out your goals. <laughs> lay out your aspirations for the year so that you can see it. Once you know what you're working towards, setting up a plan of action becomes easier. The first step is always the writing. Once you've completed your script, think about other goals like completing revisions, submitting to contests, seeking representation, making it yourself, etc. You dream it, dreamer. Know what you want and take it. While you're writing, don't be afraid to network and build up your community as well. Be actively engaged in what you want to do. Now, in this tip, write out your goals. This is where my brand new free download is going to help you out. I've created a completely free resource for you, kind of a workbook that lays out the next 12 months by putting writing out your screenwriting goals. I'll kind of go into a little bit more detail, but it's going to be at www.thescriptmistress.com forward slash scene 14, and you can download it. Now, another tip, ask yourself the hard questions. Are you working as hard as you could be? Do you know what you want out of this? Are you afraid of failure? Are you ready to commit to 100%? Is anything holding you back? Be in touch with what you're thinking and feeling. Be aware of it so that it doesn't overwhelm you. I know firsthand what it feels like to dig a cesspit of uncertainty. Sit down and cradle yourself into immobilizing despair. It's a tremendous charade taking place entirely in your head, but a very effective at ruining your work ethic. Acknowledge your fears, but remember your ambition and move forward. One of the ways that I really tackle this besides um, therapy (laughs) is a journal. I journal. I love to write. And sometimes if I find that I'm having a really hard time writing down um, my screenplays, I focus on my journaling and I really try to get those fears out there and lay them out. Because once you kind of look at them on the screen or in your own handwriting, uh, it's a lot less scary. And I think that really helps. Another tip, so follow through on your 2023 screenwriting goals. Pretty simple there. Now, if this is serious to you, if you want it badly enough, if you respect the goals you've made for yourself, then show up to the page. Make writing a routine. Look at your goals and keep yourself on track. No one can do it for you. You have to do it for yourself. That's why you're thinking about your 221 or 2022 goals, screenwriting goals. 
Luck is being prepared for when an opportunity presents itself. Now, so this year, do everything you can to be prepared. Make a list of what you need to do in order to make the next step in your career as a screenwriter. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys have all heard about this to make your goals smart, (laughs) S-M-A-R-T. So this is what I put in my download, in my free download. I have laid it all out for you. The next 12-month workbook, 12 page, well, 13 pages with the cover page, making every month, making your goals smart. Download it now on the website, www.thescriptmistress.com forward slash scene 14. And if you've got my email about this, you can also download it from the email. Now, SMART goals. In case you don't know, a little bit of a refresher. So SMART, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. These are SMART goals. So the S, specific. An example of a specific goal is, I will write a new multi-camera TV pilot. Whether you're writing for TV or film, comedy or drama, a spec script or something original, make it as specific as possible. From there, each following step should also be specific. Write the outline, write the character descriptions, write act one, write act two, etc. Measurable. A goal is measurable when you can answer the question, how will I know when I've finished? An example of a measurable goal could be, I will write a new pilot this month, or I will join the Ink to Screen Challenge and finish a five-page script. (laughs) It might also be, I will write four pages every day this month. It's very specific, and you know how to measure it. Or I will sit down and write for one hour every day this work week. When you have completed your goal, celebrate and rest. You did your job and your work is done for now. A, achievable. An example of an achievable goal would be, I will write a script and submit it to NBC Writers on The Verge. Accomplishing this goal is entirely within your power. An example of a hard to achieve goal might be, I will write a script uh, script that will get me into NBC Writers on the Verge. (laughs) Now you can't necessarily control what the outcome is of your script and excess pressure can often discourage you from keeping it, keeping your goals. If, however, it is your goal to get into the NBC program, then you will have to adjust your SMART goals accordingly. I will do everything in my power to write the kind of script NBC Writers on the Verge looks for during the acceptance process. Your goals will start to include measurable actions like researching the program, reading scripts that have made it into the program before, listening to podcast interviews about the program, creators, etc. The goals need to be attainable for you. Only you know what your potential abilities are. Now, something a lot more along the lines, if you're just starting out and you really just want to do that, I will write four pages every day this month. So again, an achievable goal. So again, the writing the four pages every month until I reach 120 pages and I will have finished my 120 page script. So that's another way that it's achievable. You have finished your first draft of your script. Relevant, into the R. This is about selecting the most important goal for you right now. Now nah, keep going with the NBC. Now, if you want to submit to NBC Writers on the Verge and the Nichols Fellowship and the We Screenplay Shorts competition or the Ink to Screen competition, then you're starting to look at a lot of diverging directions. So you want to really pick, you want to ask yourself a few questions about your goal. Why do I want to achieve this goal? Is this the right time? Which script idea will help me achieve my most pressing career ambitions? If you know you want to be a television staff writer, it may be best to set your feature film aside uh, for a while so you can concentrate on reading and writing for television. Again, sometimes we really can split ourselves. I know you guys have seen that meme where, oh, my current story, but a new idea. And we do get a little sidetracked. But again, sometimes that helps in the creativity. Again, maybe make one or two goals and focus on those. Time bound, the T. It's very easy for writers, especially emerging writers, to put off writing until tomorrow. If you don't have a deadline that you have to meet because someone else depends on it, then it's common to let that deadline slip. Do whatever it takes to set a deadline you will keep. 
I know it's hard to keep those deadlines for ourselves, but maybe just that monthly deadline. If you don't want to do the ink to screen challenge, that's totally okay. Find something else that motivates you. Maybe try swapping a certain number of pages with a friend each week. Maybe it means setting up a table read at an attainable point in the future. Perhaps you need to declare your deadline on social media and update your social circle with your progress. Whatever it is, make sure you've got a deadline that exists more concretely than just in your sweet little procrastinating soul. And I am so guilty of this. So please, if you need any help, reach out to the community, the Ink to Screen community on Facebook too. Let everybody know what your goal is and let us know the progress. It's okay. Stay motivated and accountable. Now, a challenging part about being a writer is the solitude of it. You write by yourself with a goal you've set for yourself. No one is asking you for pages. No one is paying you yet. The thing is, all writers are in that boat together. So find your community. I know a lot of my Inkta screeners have their own community out of other competitions. But if you don't, join or start a writer's group. Find a writing partner to swap pages with. You read mine, I'll read yours, somebody that you trust. Set up a table read so you can hear your work out loud. Let other people help you and help other people by offering to give them notes. Another way to stay motivated is to find a competition you want to submit to and submit to it. <clears throat> Ink to screen. <clears throat> but anyone, do your research to ensure it's worth your time and money, but then go for it. Writing contests and fellowships can be a great way to get some feedback about how your writing and story are being received by others. And hey, you just might win something or make a professional connection as a result. You never know. Now, try to avoid common mistakes. One of the biggest mistakes a writer can make is setting unrealistic goals. Writing a new uh, feature screenplay in a weekend isn't fun. It's rarely rewarding. Writing a feature, writing a feature in a month, however, is just about four pages or one hour of writing every day. Whatever your goals are, make sure they are those smart goals so you can build your confidence and satisfaction as you achieve them. Another mistake is the all or nothing mindset. Maybe you set a goal to write those four pages every day in January, but you took a break for a few days. You could just call the whole thing off or you can pick right up and start writing your four pages a day. Writing takes time and consistency. Just get back to your chair and begin again. A final mistake to avoid is getting burned out. Learning to recognize the signs of burnout and avoiding it in the first place is critical. By making smart goals, especially realistic and attainable goals and creating healthy habits for yourself that includes rest breaks, exercise, nutritional foods, and decompression time, you can avoid burnout and continue to enjoy the satisfaction that comes from being creative. So what are your screenwriting goals this year? (laughs) I would love to hear them. So I guess you can probably guess what my writing action is for the day, uh, for the week. Download the free writing goals for 2023 and fill it out as best you can for the next 12 months of 2023. It is a fillable PDF or you can print it out and and write with a pencil or pen or you can just focus on one month at a time. I've been kind of reading uh, Tiny Habits um, by BJ Fogg, I believe, Tiny Habits, and I love that book. And sometimes it's just about starting very small, very, very small. Start off January if you're just trying to get out of 2022. You're, You're like, I'm shoving all of this off. I didn't do anything I wanted to do. It's a good place to start as small as you can. I am going to sit at my computer at 5 p.m., every weeknight and I am going to read over what I wrote the previous day because that could give you ideas, little things like that. Please make those goals doable. Then feel free to share your goals or insights on the Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash ink to screen or just simply email me at amber at the scriptmistress.com to get any extra help. Now, I know, again, I know I've mentioned a lot before, you're probably going to be sick of it, but ready to really start 2023 off with a new script in your belt? 
consider signing up for the next Ink to Screen screenwriting challenge. The winner gets $150. You never know. Every writer that submits a script gets an in-depth coverage and feedback right on the script itself. Get help where you really need it. A very cheap option to look at, see where your, your strengths are as a writer and where you may be struggling that you can really have help with. You can check it all out again at www.thescriptmistress.com forward slash ink to screen. Thank you all for listening and or watching. I truly value any feedback. And if you have any ideas for a podcast that might help, you can email me again at amber at thescriptmistress.com. I'm so excited to see what your journey in 2023 looks like. If you have any issues with the download at all or any questions, feel free to reach out to me as well with that. I really want to see you help and accomplish those goals no matter what they are, whether it is just to write one page a day or you want to write a new script every month. <laughs> now, like and follow this show wherever you are listening. Talk soon. Until then, happy writing and happy new year.